Today we're going to be going through the process of updating the firmware on your cold card device. To perform this process, you are going to need your cold card device as well as a micro SD card that we're going to be using to transfer data between your computer and your cold card device. Please ensure that this micro SD card is not larger than 32 gigabytes in size. Let's get started. There are going to be periodic firmware updates for your cold card device. To show which current firmware your device is running, you can navigate to the advanced menu on the main menu in your cold card that is shown after you enter your PIN. Once you select the check mark on advanced, there's an option called upgrade. You can select upgrade and then show version. The version listed there should match the version listed on cold card's documentation site. That site is where we are now at coldcard.com forward slash docs forward slash upgrade. So you're going to see here on this site that the current version of the cold card firmware is version 4.1.3 at the time of this video that came out on September 2nd, 2021. So if your version on the screen of your cold card does not match this, then it's a good idea to upgrade. So in order to upgrade the firmware in your cold card, we want to transfer this data similar to how we added it as a key by using that micro SD card because your cold card is air gapped when used in Unchained Multisig. So, what we want to do is click on this file, this .dfu file under the current version of cold card firmware to download it. So you can see I've already downloaded it once as a test here. And what we're going to do now is drag it over to our micro SD card so we can then stick it into our cold card and upgrade the firmware on our device. Now that we've downloaded the most upgraded firmware file from cold cards documentation site and have placed it onto our micro SD card, we can now stick our micro SD card into our device and move forward with the firmware upgrade. So if you are on the main menu, you can again scroll down to the advanced option on the main menu. And from advanced, we are going to click on upgrade again by pressing the check mark on our cold card device. From here now, we're going to go for, for from micro SD as the option on the menu. And it's going to read that we have a file to upgrade from. You can go ahead and press the check mark to continue with a firmware upgrade. Your device is going to flash a green light next to the micro SD card in the upper left and say loading on the screen. It might take upwards of 30 seconds or so. After that, it's going to ask you, are you really, or are you sure you want to install this new firmware? You can press the check mark if the date of the firmware and the version of the firmware match with what you want to be upgrading to. Once you select that option, it is going to show upgrading on the screen for just a moment. And then you're going to be run through some verification screens and ultimately will end up back on that ready to sign screen. To verify that you've now installed the latest firmware, you can again scroll back down to advanced and go to upgrade and show version. And you should now be showing the version that you originally downloaded onto your micro SD card. If the red light shows uh, and the green light is not showing after you do your firmware update, you can select bless firmware from within that upgrade menu. Um, that is just a little quirk of cold card that I want to cover here uh, because that could happen, you know, when you do a firmware update from time to time, you need to bless the firmware um, and then that red light will change and the genuine green light will appear. Hopefully you found today's video helpful. For more information on how to use your cold card and that micro SD card that comes along with it, please subscribe to this channel. We also have our knowledge base linked below with a bunch of helpful information. Thank you for watching.